have more uh, breaking news coming in. Now we've accessed a new visual. This is raising more questions on what the army really has been doing and to what degree it is responsible for Hasina's ouster. In this visual, an army man can be seen removing Sheikh Hasina's portrait from the wall. So that's the latest uh, which is uh, coming in. And uh, take a look at this visual very carefully. Uh, there you can see that army man climbing atop, uh, you know, um, a piece of furniture and then from the wall, he uh, takes off uh, Sheikh Hasina's uh, portrait. He removes that on the ground. In that particular clip, you can see an army man uh, who's removing Sheikh Hasina's poster and throwing it, uh, you know, on the ground. And he's surrounded uh, by a bunch of other army men as well, who seems to be um, really cheering him on. The visual obviously raises concerns and questions. Questions which anyway have been doing the rounds on the possible role of the army or what the army had to do in what degree was it responsible for Sheikh Hasina's ouster now in the backdrop of Sheikh Hasina's ouster we heard the army chief say that the priority would be to ensure that there is no anarchy to ensure uh, that you know peace prevails uh, the army chief also said that they'll be forming an interim government but obviously ever since Sheikh Hasina has exited the country in the backdrop of the massive protest which we saw uh, there is there have been a lot of questions which have been raised uh, about the army's role as well if at all they had any role to play in Hasina's ouster considering any which way Bangladesh has had a very checkered history uh, when we speak really uh, of the army and the coups as well. Pradeep is uh, joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Pradeep, one, if you could take us through these visuals because these visuals also raise concerns about the possibility or at least the speculation which any anyway are doing the round as to, you know, to what degree was the army responsible as well for Hasina's ouster. There is no doubt that Bangladeshi army played a very dubious role because normally the rule should have been to ensure law and order situation in Bangladesh. But the Bangladesh army was completely divided. There was one section that was for Sheikh Hasina, other section wanted the ouster. And here in this visual, you can see they are just bringing down the portrait of Sheikh Hasina. That's not their job. Their job should have been to ensure law and order in the region. But unfortunately, instead of siding with the government, what they did, they were siding with the protesters. We saw the chief of army staff even changing his display picture. He turned it red. That means somewhere he was also instigating and trying to tell, convey masses that he was somewhere with the righteous, not with the government. That's one of the reasons that we saw that if you look at the development in the last 24 hours, Sheikh Hasina was given 45 minutes. She was asked within 45 minutes she can leave this uh, state. And finally she had no other option but to take a helicopter and come out to India and use India as a transit point where she is staying and what we had been told by the sources that maybe another night she's going to spend in India till the negotiation with United Kingdom uh, will be convinced, uh, will be over and they will be convinced enough to give asylum to her because the other two options are also there, Brussels as well as Helsinki in Finland. But meanwhile, you can look at the role of the army. If you look at the role of the chief of army staff, chief of the army staff, instead of trying to control the situation on the ground, what the insiders in Bangladesh say, the, it, Sheikh Hasina was able to spell doomsday for her the very moment she asked the army to come out on the street. Because only when the army came out on the street, the things really turned in favor of the writers because they clearly told Sheikh Hasina that now onwards they will not be stopping the writers from coming over to uh, Dhaka because they had already decided to march over to that place. And we saw that even they did not prevent these writers from targeting the temple as we had been talking to the director of the ISKCON. He said neither the armed forces nor anybody from the Bangladesh police came to save them. So you can very well understand how difficult it is to be Hindu in Bangladesh because the same way the statistics, the way it has gone down in Pakistan you know, from 30% to 1%, the same way it has been gone down from 22% in 1955 census uh, to almost about 8% here in Bangladesh also. The situation is really grim because army also wanted to topple. But now the role of the foreign hand also comes somewhere it seems and that there were uh, Pakistan's spy agency into service intelligence and along with the Chinese funding because we have seen that how the student movement had been almost hijacked by the Islamic radicals like Islamic Chatur Shibar. Everybody knows Islamic Chatur Shibar is nothing but basically it is a student wing of Jamaat Islami and Jamaat Islami is funded by Pakistan's into service intelligence and also being uh, utilized and uh, by uh, the uh, Chinese agencies because China somewhere wants to have a stronghold in South Asia. It is just okay. going beyond the age. It is not All right, uh, the age. Absolutely, Pradeep. And those are the latest updates. In fact, uh, we have uh, more updates coming in, Pradeep. Do stay with us because uh, we are...